Hi, my name is Stefano, and welcome to ABTV News, where we cover the latest political and world events. Here are the headlines for this week. Nazi goal train, team starts Poland dig despite doubts. Canadian bear spearing sparks outrage. Peru earthquake kills at least nine in southern Arequipa. Treasure hunters have begun digging at a site in southwestern Poland where they believe a Nazi train laden with stolen gems and arms is hidden. But experts say there is no evidence that the legendary train exists there. The explorers led by Piotr Kopper from Poland and Andreas Richter from Germany said ground-penetrating radar results were very promising. Both Copper and Richter think the train was hidden in a tunnel in 1945 and the dig near the city of Walbrzych may take up to 10 days. Since World War II, there have been rumors that a train full of loot and guns disappeared into a complex of tunnels, part of a secret military project which the Nazis never finished. At the time, the Soviet Red Army was advancing into the heart of Nazi Germany and the Nazis had many miles of tunnels constructed near Walbrzych during the war. In December, Professor Janusz Made from Krakow's AGH University of Science and Technology said its geological survey of the site had found no evidence of a train. He told a press conference in Walbrzych, there may be a tunnel, there is no train. A spokesman for the treasure hunting team, Andreas Geyuk, told reporters on Tuesday, we have to find a railway track, probably the entrance to a railway tunnel, and if the tunnel exists, there should be a train there. Local folklore said an armored train had been carrying gold from what is now the Polish city of Rorkla as the Soviet army closed in. It was said to have gone missing near Kazaya's castle, three kilometers or two miles from Walbrzych. <music> Officials in Canada's Alberta province had said they planned to place a ban on spear hunting after an American posted a video of himself impaling a black bear. Social media users criticized U.S. hunter Josh Bomar, 26, for uploading a 13-minute video showing the hunt. Though spear hunting is legal in Alberta, officials have said they are looking into whether Mr. Bomar could face charges for the kill. The video, which was posted on YouTube in June and taken down on Monday, shows Mr. Bomar setting a trap for the bear in northern Alberta and launching a spear with a camera attached at the animal. Mr. Bomar said he has received hundreds of death threats and has been forced to cut back on his social media use because of the backlash. Mr. Bomar told the AP that it's extremely frustrating to me. I didn't do anything illegal. The bear died very humanely. The truth is I honestly care more about animals and hunting than anybody could. Mr. Bomar said the bear ran 55 meters or 180 feet before it died and argued that a spear was a more humane weapon than a bow rooters reported. Mr. Bomar is not the first American to spark outrage in the sport of hunting. American dentist Walter Palmer came under fire last year for killing the black maned lion Cecil with a bow and arrow outside the Hwange National Park in western Zimbabwe. In the end, Mr. Palmer was not charged because officials said he had obtained legal authority to kill the animal. A 5.4 magnitude earthquake in southern Peru has killed at least nine people, including an American tourist. Emergency workers are on their way to the affected area to search for survivors and provide mobile shelters, but at least 40 people are reported to have been injured. Officials said Sunday's earthquake had destroyed at least 80 homes in the Arequipa region. Earthquakes are common in Peru, and in 2007, almost 600 people died when an 8.0 magnitude earthquake hit the central coast area. The quake struck at 2158 local time and at a depth of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Its epicenter was 7 kilometers west of the town of Chive, the USGS said. A local mayor told Peruvian media that the quake was felt very strongly. We have lost contact with nearby villages and are asking for heavy machinery. Arequipa Governor Yamila Osorio said she would travel to the affected area. The region was already suffering from freezing temperatures, and hours before the earthquake, President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski had visited the area to assess the damage caused by the cold snap. This is ABTV News, and these have been the headlines for this week. I'm Stefano, and keep watching American Bollywood TV.